I have a question for you. In the recent seasons of Rainbow Six Siege, have you been feeling like the game just feels unfair? Today I want to talk about a lot of the consistent problems I've been running into while playing. Specifically, I want to talk about the state of ranked, overall game content, and just nitpick a little. I want to say now that I do enjoy this game, and there are a ton of things that this game does right, and I just want to see it improve and become a better gaming environment as a whole. But with that being said, let's get into it. For starters, let's touch on ranked. If you're looking for an in-depth breakdown of how the ranked system works, click on the video in the top right. What I'm talking about now is a little different. When I made that rank 2.0 video, I was a lower rank player mainly touching on problems the majority of the player base has. I have just hit Emerald 3 in Operation Deadly Omen, and up until these last few weeks, I've had little to no problems. But recently, my friends and I have basically hit a wall. We're losing more than we're gaining in a rank we've been in consistently. Currently, I'm gaining 16 to 19 RP per win and losing about 22 to 25. I don't understand why the algorithm does this. It is nearly impossible to go on a win streak high enough to get through that. It feels like all we're able to do is damage control, making sure we don't drop too far down. But we physically can't get out of mid emerald with just a duo queue or a three stack. We have to at minimum have four people, but it's not fair to our friends that are a bit lower rank than us to play in lobbies way out of their depth. And it isn't fair to us that we're constantly having to pull the weight of an entire team. In no way is this our friend's fault. They are newer to the game and are still learning, so it's understandable that it doesn't come as easy. But if we play just us higher rank players and try to be in lobbies that should balance out in terms of ranks and stats, we end up with players on their first season who manage to get gold. They shouldn't even be in our lobbies anyway. On top of that, the other team is a 5 stack of high emeralds and 2 champs. For some reason, the system sees 2 actual emerald players and matches them with people with the hidden MMR of emerald players. When in reality, because it's that gold's first season and he or she has done well for a new player, the system skyrockets them through the ranks, giving them a way higher hidden MMR than they will have in later seasons. I hope that makes sense. Basically all I'm saying is the matchmaking system and the hidden MMR system have no way of telling each other that this new player is just having a good run of it. Then it throws them into way higher rank lobbies to see if they should be there. And with that brings a bad time for the new player and the players that are actually supposed to be in that rank. Again, we can't blame the players for what lobbies they're put into. It's really not up to them. That coupled with our RP problem, it kind of creates the fact that there's basically nothing we can do but five stack, which sounds like an easy problem to solve, but there's a lot of players who are genuinely not fun to play with, or they're cheating, or they're just toxic in general. It's quite hard for the average player to find a good consistent five stack, and I really think we need a duo queue or a solo queue playlist just to make it a better time for everyone. But what definitely needs to change is how the hidden MMR system judges players, or just remove it entirely. If my hidden MMR is diamond, I should be diamond. If little Theodore's hidden MMR is emerald, give him emerald. Aside from all the other problems ranked has, I also want to talk about the content Ubisoft is pushing out. I just recently talked about how bad the events have been. They're just recycled garbage with the sole purpose of selling cosmetic bundles, of which completely lose their value because of how often the events are recycled. Partner that with the new marketplace, most cosmetics aren't even rare now you can just buy it. Aside from that, we aren't technically getting a new operator next season. We are getting a remaster of the recruits, which don't get me wrong, sounds really cool, but what if it ends up just being like the house rework, something for quick match players? I can't speak much on it because we barely know anything about it. We don't even know if they'll be viable in ranked or if they'll be in ranked at all. For the sake of the video though, let's Let's teeter towards the bad ending, just for my point. We wouldn't get a new ranked operator for six months at that point. And after we do, we have to wait another six months before we get another new operator because the Blackbeard rework will be in between that. And let's be honest, every change that's been done to Blackbeard so far has not been beneficial at all. And we can even put all that aside. What we should be mainly worried about is the new player retention. We can't talk about the uproar Siege has had in the past year without talking about Jinxie. I'm not here to meat ride the guy, but part-timer or not, he's brought this game back from the dead. And it seems like that wasn't enough to light a fire under Ubisoft. Three months between seasons and new content is simply 
too long for me. Maybe that's just me and it's fine if it is, but people get bored quickly nowadays. They hop from game to game like it's nothing. You remember Helldivers? Yeah, I do too. That was like only a couple weeks ago, I feel like. You can't you can't expect an event like Freeze for All or Containment to be able to hold people over for another two months. Sure, we get the mid-season patch, but honestly, What's going to be put in that's going to keep new people interested? I'm really hoping that the new players are enjoying this game, and we want you to stick around, but I just don't think Ubisoft is taking advantage of this second chance they've been given to make this game last another 10 years if they wanted it to. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see what they come up with. And look, I understand that there's going to be a lot of people saying that I'm just shitting on the game and that it's doing better than it ever has. And that's true. It has been doing really well. But the question is, how long can Ubisoft keep it that way? They have a long and a rich history of fucking up almost every game franchise they've ever created. And so let's just not drop the ball this time, please. But I guess with that, I'm going to leave this video here. Make sure to give your thoughts down below. I'm very interested to hear what you guys think about this or, or just general problems that in Siege because I know it's different from every side from like mid to high rank players or like champ like super high like pro players or champion players and then on the other side of the spectrum like new players and lower rank players like uh, silvers and golds like I, I want to know what everyone thinks because everyone should have an opinion on it because it is a game that we all play and a lot of us have been playing this game for a lot of years and dedicate a lot of time and effort into this game trying to be better at it and spend our free time like our gaming free time which I know a lot of people don't have because they work their jobs or they have families or just other things going on in their life so I'm I, I am really interested to see what everyone thinks so let's try and keep it a little bit positive down below if you have some criticism or something that makes you mad there's no reason to take it out on anybody specific use it as a place to vent your problems that a lot of other people might have and that you can relate to but uh yeah i, I am going to leave this here i appreciate you guys so much for watching this video if you liked it make sure you leave a like down below and drop a sub if you want to see more siege content we recently just hit 800 subscribers and we are well on our way to 900 that is simply insane to me. If we can make that happen, it would be absolutely wonderful. The road to 1,000 subscribers continues. I know we can do it. But anyways, and as always, I'll see you 